Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell and today I wanted to come on camera and show you guys after two years of not having a professional haircut, I finally got my hair cut. It needed it so, so bad. I have actually been doing my own cuts for the past two years with COVID and everything. And then I moved and I was super far from my stylist. It just made it really a lot easier uh, for me to just do my own cuts. And I was loving the way that it was coming out. But my last two cuts were very, very lazy cuts. Um, and I knew that because I didn't take the extra time to like really perfect the cut. And so I was left with a little bit of unevenness. I also was still growing out my hair from the major, major uh, damage that I had a few years back. If you have been following me for a while, then you guys know I had major protein overload, broke my hair completely off. I've had to literally regrow all of my hair back out so that it will be healthy again. And I still had like a couple of inches at the bottom left that really just needed to be chopped. So stick around so that you hear all of the details of that cut, what I asked for, uh, what I showed the stylist, how I found my stylist and all of that. And if you are not subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button down there. Make sure that you turn on the bell so that you're notified when I upload videos because I feel like my videos are not being shown to anybody anymore. And it's a little frustrating, I'm not even gonna lie. And that's gonna be a whole video in and of itself, we're gonna go ahead and jump on in to this video. Before I get into all of the details about this fabulous cut that I got, I do wanna thank today's sponsor and that is Dossier. For me, it is just such a blessing to be able to continue to partner with a company that I believe in so, so much. I love this company, I love this brand. They are a luxury inspired perfume company. If you like to smell good, like I like to smell good. If you like perfume and colognes and fragrances that don't fade throughout the day, like I do. If you are on a budget and don't wanna spend an arm and a leg for fragrances, like I do, then you definitely need to check out Dossier. So with this brand, you can find tons of popular fragrances that sell for a lot, a lot of money in your retail stores um, for a fraction of the cost. And I will tell you firsthand, these fragrances are exactly the same. Dossier fragrances are all that I ever wear anymore. My collection is literally ridiculous. I want to open up these and kind of test out these fragrances because I believe both of these are new fragrances. I am so excited anytime Dossier comes out with a new fragrance. I feel like a kid in a candy store. I cannot wait to test it out. It comes with a little insert, comes with your fragrance. If you don't like the fragrance for any reason, you can return it for a full refund and nothing goes to waste. These actually get donated, which I love. This one is called Powdery Coconut. Since we're in the summer months, this really caught my eye because I love like coconut fragrance things. I feel like it just screams summer. It is inspired by Tom Ford Soleil Blanco perfume. I like to just kind of spray it right on there. Fan it out. You can smell the coconut in it ever so faintly. This is summer date night material right here. Okay, so this one is called Fruity Honey. Fruity for summertime, honey, sweet. I don't know, it just sounded really cool. And I love Jo Malone fragrances. And this one is inspired by Jo Malone, Nectarine Blossom and Honey cologne. This has got notes of green leaves, honey, nectarine, peach. It just sounds divine, right? Okay. What? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a men's fragrance. Holy moly, that smells so good. I just, I can't brag on this brand enough. As always, I'm gonna leave all of their information in the description box along with my discount code. They're already discounted prices, but then you get a discount on top of that. Like you can't beat it. We're gonna smell great for the summer. I'm gonna be over here smelling like powdered coconut and I'm living for that. Back to the haircut. What kind of cut did I get, you ask? I got a diva cut. 
Let's take a quick look at my salon experience before jumping into the details of this cut. It's been two years since I have had a professional curly haircut and today is the day. Due to major protein overload, my hair was damaged really bad a couple years ago and I've been growing it out for the last two years and doing my own cuts. But it's time to get rid of those last few inches of damaged hair and to get a really good shape up. And I'm so excited because I went to a new salon today. This is Bombshell and it is so stinking cute. As soon cute. as I saw the bowl of bubble gum, I knew this was the place for me. This is my style. Tiziana. She is a master curly stylist. I showed her multiple pictures of different curly hairstyles that I knew I kind of wanted my hair to look like, and she took those and ran with These it. These are the results, and I absolutely love how it turned out. She gave me a nice blunt cut, which is what I like because it makes the bottom of my hair look a lot thicker than what it is. She gave me tons and tons of layers and a more rounded shape, and that's the style that I really like when I'm getting a professional curly cut. I think it turned out perfect, and I'll definitely be going back. Just the word diva, I feel like, gives us PTSD. Even though diva curl was canceled, diva cuts are not canceled because it's not a product, right? It's, it's simply a way of cutting the hair to get a beautiful shape. And I had not had a diva cut in probably three, two and a half, three years. I did get a Rizos cut was the last like professional haircut that I got. And I did like that. I didn't like the shape as much as I like the Diva Cut. So I was struggling because I didn't want to have to drive an hour or more to a stylist. So I did some research and tried to find out if I could find a curly stylist that was closer to me. And it is very difficult to find a lot of curly stylists, like stylists that specialized in curly hair, stylists that have had training specifically for curls. Yes, you can get your hair cut if you have curly hair. You can get it cut just like someone with straight hair does. You can get a wet layered look however you wanna get it cut. But I find cutting it dry gives my hair the best shape. You really know how your curls are going to lay. You know how they're going to spring up because you're getting it cut in its curly state. So there are no surprises. That's just how I like to uh, get my hair cut or whenever I was doing my own cuts, that's how I like to cut it. I cut it dry in its curly state. I live around the Richmond, Virginia area. So I went onto Instagram and I started typing in curly stylist RVA um, or RVA curly specialist. I just started doing a bunch of different searches and I found a curly hair specialist that is only 25 minutes from me. The first thing you wanna do when you find a curly stylist is do your research. Make sure that you're going to their Instagram page. Make sure that if they have a website, go to their website, look at their before and after pictures. Make sure that you're seeing curly clients of theirs before and after pictures so that you know that this person is actually good with curly hair. This particular person is a master stylist. She went to New York to the Diva Shawn Salon and, and got certified years ago. Plus, she had tons of before and after pictures. Um, so I felt very confident going into this appointment that I was gonna come out with a good haircut. The next thing I did was search for pictures that had curly hairstyles that mimicked what I wanted. Now I know my curls, so I have very realistic goals in mind when I'm going in to get a haircut. If you have very fine, very thin hair and it's wavy, you can't take a picture of someone who's got very thick, thick hair that has very tight curls and tell them this is the, the shape and the style that you want because it's not gonna translate. So we need to make sure that we have realistic goals going into a haircut. I'm gonna show you on the screen now the pictures that I screenshotted to take into this stylist. I screenshot four different pictures, four different people, but all of the styles are similar in the shape that I was trying to achieve. I knew for me and my hair, I've got thin, fine hair. I don't have a ton of hair, even though it looks like I do, especially with it cut now and layered like it is, um, but I don't have a lot of hair. So the way that I wanna get my hair cut is to create the illusion that I have a lot more hair than what I really do. That means getting a very blunt bottom cut. I don't want any thinning happening in the bottom layers of my hair. I want it to be a very blunt 
level cut. I don't want a V shape. I don't want a U shape. Now, if my hair was longer, then those shapes might look really good. But for me, I want it very blunt, very straight bottom. That way it gives, it gives the appearance of a heavier bottom uh, layer, which makes my hair look thicker. Because with the rest of my hair, I need lots and lots of layers to give it that lift, give it that volume, give it that lightness. Um, so I keep that bottom layer very thick, very blunt. And the rest of the shape, I get a rounded shape. Lots and lots and lots of layers. I like a more rounded shape on me. It fits my face. It fits, it just fits me. I knew that going in. These pictures of these hairstyles mimicked what I was trying to achieve. Plus I relayed that in what I told her before we even started cutting. And she did exactly, exactly what I asked her to do. I got all of that damage cut off the bottom. I am trying to grow my hair out. I want my hair to be longer, but I really needed to get rid of those last little dead ends from that damage from a couple years ago in order to grow healthier, thicker, prettier hair. So that is exactly what I did. And I could not be happier with the result. Like I love the layers. I love the volume. I mean, I'm in love with, I'm in love with all of it. I'm in love with my new stylist. That is probably the biggest takeaway from this is finding a good stylist that you can really trust with your curls. I know that's the hardest part of getting a curly haircut is finding someone that really knows curls. Once you find someone that you love and that knows your hair and knows how you want your hair cut, it makes all of the difference in the world. I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. If you have other questions about getting a curly haircut that I didn't answer in this video, leave them in the comments below. I do have a couple of videos of how I cut my curly hair. So if you don't have a hairstylist in your area and you feel pretty bold to do your own haircut, you can definitely follow one of those tutorials. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.